Okay, so we're going to run through some quick examples in talking about terminal points. Well, what exactly is a terminal point? Well, a terminal point is where um, something ends in this case. In this case, the measure of an angle. So we've got in the first example, the terminal point at t equals 3 pi. So all they want to know is what point does this angle end at? And when we say point, we're talking about an x and y coordinate. So what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the unit circle. And notice all of these are in radians. All right. So here is a copy of the unit circle. Now, if you notice, it goes from 0 to 2 pi. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do some counting in our head here. But it's not too difficult. So if I travel around, that's 1 pi. I travel around another half, that's 2 pi, and I travel around another half, that puts me at 3 pi, which coincidentally is pi, because it is coterminal. So this would actually be the designation for 3 pi if it were written, okay? So the terminal point then being negative 1, 0. So the terminal point for 3 pi is negative 1, 0. Now notice, we were always going counterclockwise okay so to measure a positive angle you always go counterclockwise all right but let's take a look at example b here it says negative pi so because it is negative we're going to have to go clockwise to find uh, this terminal point so negative pi well we know pi is right here so we're actually going to travel the same distance but we're going to go clockwise and coincidentally, we end up at the same point as well. So this terminal point once more for this one is going to be the same negative pi, I'm sorry, negative 1, 0. All right, so let me go ahead and jot that down as well. Negative 1 and 0. Okay, now let's take a look at the very next one. Negative pi over 2. So again, we know pi over 2 positive is counter so we're going to travel this same distance in this case it's 90 degrees but we're going to travel 90 degrees now clockwise so let's see we start here and we're going to go back this way this puts us at 3 pi over 2 because 3 pi over 2 is coterminal with negative pi over 2 and the terminal point there being at 0 negative 1 right here at the bottom okay so let's jot that down terminal point at 0, negative 1. Now let's take a look at another one, negative pi over 3. All right, so negative pi over 3. We know that pi over 3 is 60 degrees in, so negative pi over 3 then is going to be 60 degrees down. So basically 360 minus 60 puts you at 300. So here we have uh, the terminal point half and then negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and jot that one down. Okay, so half negative square root of 3 over 2. Now I'm going to toss another one, and let me just jot it down here for you. Say that I wanted letter E, so here's a bonus, uh, negative, I don't know, 13 pi over 6. That one sounds interesting. Let's see where that one happens at. Okay, so here's a terminal point at, and we're going to figure it out. Actually, let's, let's just not overcomplicate it, and let's just make it positive, 13 pi over 6, okay? Just so we have something quick and easy to work with. Okay, so I'm looking on here, 1 6, I've got 5 6, 7 6, uh, let's see here, 11 6. Okay, so actually, if you notice, this is 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, uh, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7 out of 6, 8 out of 6, 9 out of 6, 10 out of 6, 11 out of 6. This one right here at 2 pi is 12 out of 6. So 13 out of 6 is this guy right here. So notice you just kind of have to keep counting by 6. Okay, so this one would actually be our 13 pi out of 6 if it were actually printed on the circle. So our terminal point for that one would be this square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. So definitely some good examples of uh, term terminal points 
using the unit circle. And it's really just that easy. So if you like this video, I promised my students if, uh, that I would say this at the very end because I'm trying to build up my subscriber base. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. So thank you very much.